Hey, Danny from Pico here. With the release of our Pico Unity integration 2.5, we have full integration with Unity's XR hand interactions. So now it's never been easier to get started with hand tracking and to port your project to the Pico platform. Requirements for this project is Pico OS device of 5.9, Pico Unity integration SDK 2.5 or higher, XR Terry Toolkit, I'm using 3.0 here, and I'm using Unity 2022.3. For this project, we'll be doing, first I'll be going over the packages and samples, going over input action map to map out the Pico aim hands, how to switch to Pico hand models, the settings, then a quick demo of everything once it's all finished. Let's get started. All right, back in Unity, I'll show you in the package manager, which one we have right now. We have our SDK 2.5 already in here and I have it in the package folder. And then interaction toolkit 3.0 for the samples, have the starter assets and hand interaction demo. And then for XR hands, I have 1.4, and then I have the hand visualizer. And then for the projects, go ahead and we'll open up the hands demo project and the hand interaction demo. Let's resize the inspector window to make it easier for you to see. Here we're going to head on down to input action manager and open the action assets. We need to change our bindings in, in the left and right hand and interaction area. So let's go ahead and open up the aim position, rotation, and flags. And we we'll add bindings to each, and we're going to be adding the Pico bindings here. Usually, you go to XR controller, and you have the Pico controller here. But now we have the Pico aim hands, so you want to go to track devices. In the track devices, you'll see the Pico aim hands. And then just add the left and right according to whatever you need. So here, left hand, and we're going to add the position here. We're going to do the same thing for aim rotation. Same thing. Track devices, Pico aim hands, left device rotation, aim flags, track devices, aim hands, left, aim flags. Great. Now we'll do the exact same thing on the right side for the aim position, rotation, and the flags. Same thing as before. Track devices, Pico aim hands, and then add in the appropriate position, rotation, and flags. Next, we want to head over to the interaction part to select. The UI press, these are the things for your uh, near grab, far grab. These are the, the actions that the index press, when you're pushing your hands together, this is what is going to uh, fire off your trigger to allow you to do these actions. So we're going to set a binding for select, select value, UI, and UI pressed. Same exact thing. Open a new binding. Go to the path, track devices, Pico aim hands, then left or right. Here we go left and then go into the pinch index strength. UI press, exactly as one before, UI press, add that binding, path, track devices, peak aim hands, left hand, and do the index press. And the UI UI press, this is allows you to, you know, use the, the UI, also allows you to do for far grabs as well. So using the little ray crest to move the UI up and down from far away things. Do the exact same thing for the right interactions. Add the bindings. Peak track devices, peak way hands, right hand, index pressed. You got it. Index pressed. Now with these action maps, you're able to use those interactions that weren't available previously in the previous SDKs. Now with these Pico M hands, you're able to use the Unity's XRI hand interactions like you normally would in your other projects. All right, go ahead and remember to save your project. Okay. Usually I set my tracking mode to floor. And go ahead and add in the PXR manager. Here, go ahead and turn on MRC, that's the materiality content, but most important here, this part is hand tracking. You can add and change other things in here, but for now, we'll just focus on hand tracking. Next, we're going to want to change the left hand and right hand hand models. The Unity's default hands doesn't match our bone structure quite well, so I'd, my recommendation is to change the hand models to use our own. Hand mesh renderer is how it's going to be looking. So we're going to be changing that by first going to generation folder, assets, resources, prefabs, and add the left and right hand depending. And so I go ahead and add in the hand left here. Take a look at it. You want to use our PXR hands 
because otherwise you have to change the whole bone structure. But you can go ahead and turn, go inside a ray post and then default ray area. And we can just turn off the skin mesh render. We don't really quite need that right now. We'll use the, um, the unities. Here, make sure you change the hand mesh renderer. Add in the hand left from our Pico prefab. Go ahead and go inside and add, grab the uh, mesh render itself. So it's gonna be called base left. We're gonna need to do the same thing on the right hand side. With my skeleton driver, if you wanted to do and add all these things, you can switch all the bones, but we have the PXR hands ready doing that for you. So we go ahead and turn that off and turn off the left hand if that's a Unity has. Do the exact same thing for the right hand. Go to the um, ray pose and go to the default ray, turn off that, we don't really need that. The left, the hand wrist that comes with that. Make sure you change the visuals for the base right, for the hand mesh renderer, turn off the skeleton driver. We don't need that for now. If you didn't want to use PXR hands, you would, yeah, you would have to set up the skeleton driver. But for now, let's just use the PXR hands since it's already set up already. Okay, with that, everything should be set up. All the poke interactions of the hand demo, all the uh, near and far interactions are already set and they're already mapped to those uh, aim, aim flags that we do have, the rotation, the select value, I press value. Let's go ahead and check the settings, change the company names as if you need to. Uh, linear if you want to, the settings here. For products like 2022, just make sure you uh, change the input action bindings because it is an Android project. Minimum API, go ahead and set this to 29. Target API automatic highest, change the scripting backend. Since we're changing this, go ahead and set it to ARM64. And active input handling, you have to change this into the newest one. This is probably gonna restart your uh, editor. Go ahead and let it wait. Okay, now that we're back and after it's loaded, go ahead and go to XR plugin management, make sure Pico is uh, enabled here. Change his stereo rendering to multi-view. Author my box there. Make sure project validation, everything's all checked there. Everything's all green. Make sure you have the, the current scene that you're building. Make sure you add open scenes. Have the correct scenes in the builds. And go ahead and go up to the PXR SDK and to the platform settings. Usually I just write uh, temp here and then make sure everything's green here as well. Just to write anything here is fine. All right, go ahead and save, check this. And let's go ahead and build the project. Here we are in the Unity project. You can press, poke is working here. You can press any individual button. Do a UI press, UI scrolls. You can lock in here. You use this kind of move up and down if you need to. Index press to kind of grab it. Grab things here. Snap socket works. Awesome, it's good. And gotta do the book manipulation. Perfect. That's it. I hope you guys build something cool. Thank you very much.